Hello, this is Jack Conwell, well known as the Unknown Pilot RC. Here today I'm going to try to explain to you how to link two R3008 SB receivers together to get your 16 channels out of them. Now I realize, you have to realize the first one through eight will only give you, that's where you plug your telemetry in the S-Bus 2. Uh, in this case, we've got both of them. We're going to power them on together without the transmitter being on. And as we can see up here, we need one blink out of the first one, which will give us channels one through eight. We need three blinks out of the second one, which will give us nine through 16. So we just simply go up here and uh, push the little button in until we see it change collars. We're going to let off of it. And it's giving us two blinks. So we want this one on. We're going to touch it. It's three blinks. Touch it again. Four blinks. Touch it again. Five blinks. Touch it again. One blink. So now we're going to go back in there and push in until it changes color. And we should be set. Okay. Now we go to the second one. It means that we got them powered up here together. And this one's going to be one through 16. We're going to Push it in until it changes color. Okay, and now we need to see what it's on. It's on two, so we tap it one more time. Now it's on three. Now we're going to push it in and hold it until it changes color. Okay, and we should be done. Now we're going to link it to the radio. We're going to do one at a time, so we're going to unplug the second one. I'm going to turn the radio on. We're going to shut the receiver that we have hooked up. We're going to turn it off. We're going to go to linkage menu, systems type, and this is a TFHSS. And we're going to link it. So when we link it, now we're going to turn that one on. And we'll see the links established. Okay, so now we're going to shut that one off. We're going to uh, plug the other one in by itself. Number two receiver. And you can just power up any, anywhere in this case. And we're going to go to link again. We're going to power it up. Okay, link established. Okay. So now we're going to turn this off. We're going to link both these together again. And we're going to just, we've just got some old servos to test with. So we're going to put uh, this one on channel uh, 16. Somehow. We're going to put this one on channel 1. And notice we have our telemetry activated because we use RPM sensors from time to time. We're going to power them both on. You can see the one moving. That's our ailerons coming off of channel 1. And uh, this one's channel 16, which I have it on a switch. So now we have 1 through 16 with telemetry on. So that's how you do that. Pretty simple. Uh, the Taba really doesn't tell you how to do it. As far as I know, they do for your 7008s, but not on these. So it's really a piece of cake. We use a lot of uh, digital and analog servos, and we just don't use any S-Bus. But your telemetry does go in on S-Bus 2, so make sure and don't plug anything else on it. 
Now, one thing that happens from time to time is uh, some of these radios, we're going back to the linkage menu, some of these radios on certain receivers, when you move the ailerons to the right and back, it makes it beep. And so what we found out is if you get in that scenario, uh, if you would pull your SD card out of the radio and put it in park down there if you want to, or put it back in your box, it will not do that. And I know most generally Fataba radios, you can just leave your SD card in and you can also pull your models off there and fly. But uh, some receivers, and, and this, is, this is one group of them, they all don't do it, will we'll make your uh, radio beep when you move your aileron stick back and forth. So uh, just pull it out and that noise will quit. So hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Now one of the things I wanted to add, which kind of adds a kind of a cool factor to it, is uh, we do a lot of 3D printing. And uh, these are flexible filaments. And uh, so it, it cuts down on some of your vibration and stuff like that. So kind of gives you a nice cool factor. Just mount it on your plane and away you go. Kind of neat. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.